invasive species management and restoration is um, has its own unique challenges in our dry land ecosystem. We have, uh, it's hot, it's dry, and it's windy. And then we also, in Arches National Park, we see millions of visitors each year. So our program really focuses on early detection, rapid response. And we focus that eff those efforts on high visitor use areas and road size. So we will look, um, at trailheads for um, invasive species like puncture vine, also known as goat heads. We'll patrol the roadsides. We also are working to do more outreach with visitors um, through Play Clean Go and get signage and just inform vi visitors that they can be um, vectors for invasive species. So brushing off your boots, cleaning your backpacks before you come to the park or even from one trailhead to the other because in our areas here not every every trailhead has the same plants um, so that I think outreach goes a long way we also um, started to implement the use of biocontrols uh, again we don't have a huge crew but we have a lot of area to manage and some areas are really hard to get to. And, and part of the reason why invasive species can outcompete native plants is that they don't have the, the natural predators um, that they were adapted with in their ecosystems. So by adding the, that biocontrol, the, the predator that evolved with the invasive species in its um, home ecosystem, we move that to our ecosystem and now there's a natural predator that sort of like uh, takes the edge off of that invasive species. So we, that Russian knapweed, for example, might still be around, but it doesn't form a monoculture and we'll still have like um, native plant diversity. Getting seeds for our projects uh, is definitely a challenge. Um, but we are actively collecting seed in the wild. Something we've, we've done is we've created a seed increase field um, at the Arches Visitor Center. So we're basically farming seeds and it's really exciting to use a, a space that was disturbed for infrastructure and instead of just managing invasive species, we're creating and growing um, native seeds that we can use in our restoration projects.